Hi, my name is Wendell Valois from the Walking on Clouds channel and today we are going to configure some catalog inside of Marketing Cloud Personalization. And let's understand a little bit uh, how we are going to create our catalogs. We have here the main thing that is the product. It has lots of kinds of data inside of it is already default. But we could create these things that are inside of some exercise of eCampus. There's an exercise in eCampus I'm not going to show you. I'm going to do it. And there's pre priority, charitable partnership, and activity type. It's kind of optional. It's, it's not going to do anything. But it is great to only to understand how it works. And... We also are going to use this other catalog, this color, the feature, the brand is kind of optional because it doesn't work inside of, of the default example and gender also. And there is category, but category is already done. It's it, you, ha you shouldn't do much of things here. And we have like, one to multiple relationship from product to color, feature, brand, but not to gender. And category, I put here one, one to one, but I am not so sure about it because there is no information about this relationship inside of personalization. Kind of default, you don't have to do anything. It's, it's already connected product and category. Let's try to create a catalog for like a super simple catalog only will have the product as you see here your catalog only have the categories but we could let's see it it probably has something okay it, it, it may take some time for it to update let's go to the settings and create a catalog there are some catalogs already done but we need this one that's product and the product one it's disabled by default. Let's enable it and it will start working. Okay, I enable it. Let's go to the event stream. Uh, I'm going to go to another product. Let's go to this kind of <laughs> close, close here. Let's go to another one and let's return it. It's going to take some time. Okay, view the item, view item. Uh, let's go to... Okay, let's go to the catalog. Oh, it's not showing because I have to refresh the personalization or I could change to another data set and return. Okay, let's go to Cumulus and go to NTO training again. I'm going to catalog and now I see the products. It's like it has zero thing like, oh, I remember now. I have to start a configuration. It's kind of not default because there are two ways of providing information inside of the catalogs. You could insert data by ETL or you could insert by another way like API. That means uh, it could be like by, by the sitemap, but it's turned off by default because the most secure method is by ETL. By sitemap is not the most, the best approach, but we're using it. Okay, let's go to settings again in catalog. And there is this security thing here. Enable strict catalog security. It has some info here. It, it shows that only from ETL. Let's turn it off and let's save it okay it's saved okay now that's saved let's go to other products let's go to these beanie and uh, our other cap or these whatever hoodie and i'm going to go to event stream again uh okay i shouldn't go here let's go to the products there's nothing here <laughs> oh no and i think it will take some time because products will take like 15 minutes like 
It's not a super fast thing, but let's go and see other products, other, other hoodies, and let's kind of feed the personalization about my behavior. Four to six weeks later. And some time passed, like almost a month, and I have like some information here. You could see like the user, it already saw some products. It's kind of understanding that I saw some products and you could see here that these little dots, you could, it's visit info. It's like, because I saw some products, it's going to count how much time I spent seeing each product. And that is it. It's gray. It's if you view a product, orange if you're clicking, or gray, green, or green if you bought something. But I have never bought anything. Let's do it. Okay, let's keep it doing the configuration. Let's go to settings and catalog and profile objects. Let's create some stuff here. For now, we are going to do the default. That's the product category is already created and it's 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 activated let's create another one that's color okay it's we are not going to do anything here only create it and enable it save okay we now need to create the feature feature enable save simple and also let's create the gender Enable and save. But we need to create some relationship between the product and this other stuff. Like this connection is like we say like the related catalog. We are re making this relationship between products and these other catalogs. And let's go here to catalog. Oh. Let's go here to the product and here we can see like we could create new attributes because it has lots of default attributes, but it, we can create new ones. Um, but let's go to related catalog objects. Okay, let's add the related catalog object. Let's relate it to color and it's going to be many per object. And done. Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. Add another one. That's going to be feature. We have going to have lots of features inside of product. Uh, let's create another one that's from gender. Each product will have only one per object. Okay. Let's create a new attribute only for the, the sake of it. They are not, this is not going to work for anything like automatically or on, on the examples of Salesforce, but this is in one of those exercises. Let's create the priority. The label is going to be the same thing. Um, it will be in an integer. Done. Let's create a new one. That will be charitable partnership. Um, we're going to do the same label. But this will be a Boolean type. Let's create a new attribute and it will be active type and active type as a label. And this will be a string. It's only to see like the different kind of, of values. Enable and save. Now we can see like any product on the website, like could be the boot. And if you see like this, it has some features and these features should go to because it's a product it has name it has value it has lots of things that's going to go to the catalog catalog of the product but also has a related thing like feature it's it's another thing of, that's related to the product and the, like the gender it's male because it's in the main section and this category is also a related thing but you may think like, oh, we have done no configuration about it, but it's kind of default. It's, it's, it, you shouldn't configure anything. It's already there. 
And also has this color thing. It has like a weird color, but there are other products that we could see that has different kind of colors. Okay, here it has three colors and this is a related thing. One product has many colors that you could choose. And this will be in another separated catalog. Okay, let's see the event string. It has like someone saw an item and you could see like this is the information about this item. It has some information about the, the product, but has also the color. It's a related catalog. And here it's kind of difficult to see everything. Okay, I've downloaded a tool that's the name it's Interaction Studio MCP Logger. And this shows some extra information about the behind things. And if you see like it is has a, a catalog object that's the product and it's it's a product, you can see like product, and it has some information like description, uh, the image, how much is in the inventory, it's it's sending this to personalization. And this has the related catalog objects that related to this kind of clothes and this has the category the color it only has one color but lots of features and also the gender see gender feature color category like I've showed it here but it doesn't have brand this is kind of optional because uh, all the examples inside of this 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 website there's no brand here there's no brand uh, the examples from like the website for Salesforce and you can see like the information but it takes a little bit of time but let's go to the catalog okay it, it's not showing here in catalog I'm gonna have to update okay I'm doing another data set that's NTO that I've created previously because it takes like 15 minutes to have the information and I'm not wanting to to wait for so long. Uh, let's go to a product and these you sh this thing you should see like let's edit this product and you see like the name of the product, URL, image, URL and lots of stuff about the product. That's the default, you can't change these default things, but here you can see like the attributes of product that it's new stuff that we added. Like activity type, this is a string. This it's a, a boolean that we could click, and the priority that's a number. And there is this thing here. It's an interesting thing. Uh, here has the brand thing, but it has nothing. The color. Uh, because this has several colors, you could see like the related things. Um, the gender is only one, and category is automatic. It's 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 default. We should create a category thing, relationship. But this is here. Uh, there's all the things. It's kind of simple. Let's go to a cat. Let's go and see what's inside of here, like colors. You could see like the, all the colors, but we only have one attribute that is the name. Uh, that's also the ID. Uh, that's kind of, it's kind of boring to see, but all of those things we created only this. But we could like put like more information inside of a color, like the, the uh, of, uh, uh, RGB stuff. Um, uh, the genders I created the uh, I see like some men, women, and kids. Uh, there's an interesting thing that's categories is a very weird and different uh, catalog because you you should put like a, a time like and people saw this stuff and there is this thing that we you could open this categories that has subsections like electronics has one other thing like man has it's it's it's, it's a weird it's fantastic and any category we have this weird thing that's word cloud that's the the biggest thing that people are searching but it's, it's i think it's more statical it, it doesn't add much 
There's a funny thing that it's using this, this chart, this affinity graph, and for that, we need some specific names of, of, of catalog objects, like uh, category, style, brand, and item class. You have to, you only have these four options. You could relabel, put a different name, like uh, there is, is a style, but we could use the color. Oh, there is this item class, we could use product class, or we could use another thing like the, like this feature thing, we could use it. And I think that is it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, give a like, a thumbs up, and I see you later. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye.